Before reading any book, reader must have an idea of what the book is about, and that's why to save your time we are making short audio summaries of all the best-selling books. Do you feel like you're constantly putting others' needs before your own, even if it means sacrificing your own happiness and well-being? Do you struggle with setting boundaries and speaking up for yourself? Then it's time to ditch the nice guy persona and embrace a more assertive, confident version of yourself. This video will provide practical tips and advice for standing up for yourself, setting boundaries, and getting what you want out of life. Welcome to No More Mr. Nice Guy, the ultimate guide for anyone who's tired of constantly putting others first and wants to start taking charge of their own life. In this video, we'll explore the dangers of being too nice, the benefits of assertiveness, and how to develop the self-confidence needed to stand up for yourself and get what you want. This book have total 12 chapters, we will see them one by one. Chapter 1, The Nice Guy Syndrome In this chapter, Dr. Robert Glover introduces the concept of the nice guy and highlights how their behavior often leads to unsatisfying relationships and a cycle of self-victimization. He emphasizes the importance of becoming an ideal man who is self-accepting and secure in his masculinity and sexuality. Chapter 2, The Making of a Nice Guy Dr. Glover explores the origins of the nice guy syndrome, tracing it back to a boy's belief that he must be good to receive love. He discusses the impact of abandonment, shame, and self-doubt in shaping the nice guy mentality. Chapter 3, What's Wrong with Being Nice? This chapter delves deeper into the negative consequences of nice guy behavior, including passivity, dishonesty, and manipulation. Dr. Glover highlights the mindset that drives these actions which involves concealing one's true self and striving for a perfect life based on others' expectations. Chapter 4, The Covert Contracts Dr. Glover introduces the concept of covert contracts that nice guys often form in relationships. These covert contracts involve unspoken expectations of reciprocation, where the nice guy hopes to receive love, validation, or attention by meeting others' needs without explicit communication. He explains how these covert contracts lead to frustration and resentment. Chapter 5, The Three P's, Passivity, Passivity, Passivity In this chapter, the author focuses on the issue of passivity among nice guys. He discusses the fear of rejection and disapproval that drives their people-pleasing behavior and reluctance to take action. Dr. Glover emphasizes the need for nice guys to develop assertiveness and overcome their passivity. Chapter 6, The Seductive Withholding Style Dr. Glover explores the seductive withholding style, a common pattern among nice guys. This style involves using indirect tactics, such as charm, flattery, or manipulation, to gain approval or attention from others. He explains how this behavior ultimately leads to frustration and unfulfilling relationships. Chapter 7, No More Mr. Nice Guy in the Bedroom this chapter focuses on the impact of the nice guy syndrome on sexual relationships. Dr. Glover discusses how nice guys often struggle with expressing their desires and setting boundaries in intimate situations. He offers guidance on embracing a healthier and more assertive approach to sexuality. Chapter 8, What Women Want Dr. Glover explores the misconceptions and misunderstandings that nice guys have about women's desires and expectations. He emphasizes the importance of genuine connection, authenticity, and mutual respect in building healthy relationships. Chapter 9, Intimate Relationships, Connecting with Women In this chapter, Dr. Glover provides guidance on developing and maintaining intimate relationships. He discusses the significance of emotional honesty, vulnerability, and effective communication in fostering deep connections with women. Chapter 10, The Nice Guy and the Family Dr. Glover explores how the nice guy syndrome impacts family dynamics and parenting. He discusses the challenges nice guys face in setting boundaries, expressing emotions, and maintaining healthy relationships within the family unit. Chapter 11, Growing Up Nice In this chapter, Dr. Glover addresses the impact of the nice guy syndrome on personal growth and self-actualization. He encourages nice guys to embrace their authentic selves, pursue their passions, and break free from the limitations of seeking validation from others. Chapter 12, No More Mr. Nice Guy 
The final chapter offers a summary and a call to action for nice guys to transform their lives by embracing their true selves, being assertive, setting boundaries, and pursuing their own desires and goals. Dr. Glover provides practical steps and exercises for nice guys to implement positive changes in their lives. Conclusion Congratulations, you've made it to the end of No More Mr. Nice Guy. We hope these tips and strategies have encouraged you to embrace a more assertive and self-confident version of yourself. Remember, the journey to self-improvement is ongoing, and you'll likely face setbacks and challenges along the way. But by prioritizing your own needs, setting clear boundaries, and communicating assertively, you'll be well on your way to achieving your goals and living the life you've always wanted. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more empowering content like this. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of our latest uploads. And if you feel the book is interesting that you can buy it, the link is in the description. And as always, leave a comment below with your thoughts and questions. We love hearing from our viewers. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next video.